Purple Yeti is back. It's week three. Let's wrap it up, shall we? Oh, time to get the internets out. Yeah, I have pretty much stream consciousness going, but I mean, seriously, rankings just came out. I'm a little... Whew, I'm, I want to see the lights of the rankings. Um, so, yeah, week three happened. I didn't get to watch a lot of it. But let me go ahead and take a sip from my Diet Sierra Mist that kind of weekend. Oh, yeah. Um, all the good games I didn't get to watch. Uh, what did I watch? TCU Kansas. Purple Yeti here, by the way. Um, back with his ridiculous moniker. Uh, throwing it old school. And I gotta admit, uh, listening to half the K-State game yesterday, uh, kind of felt like it was a little old school in terms of, uh, playing against opponent like North Texas. And that's kind of what happened, right? Um, so let's start out with that. Uh, Arthur Brown maybe injured injured his knee. Don't know how bad it is. Hopefully it's just like a, a, an extension or a, a hyper or whatever extended something. Uh, let's hope he didn't tear anything. Um, actually, let's look that up right now. doo 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 -do. You can look it up too. But, um... They kept it tight again, and they um, they somehow pulled away at the end. I don't know how it happened. I was kind of uh, was kind of looking at it um, in the concert. Yep, saw a music concert. Uh, I have another block for that. Uh, and the um, the. Uh, the ankle injured, I guess, for Arthur Brown. Don't know how long you're going to be out. Knowing Bill Snyder, probably won't tell us. Um, that's okay. Um, Oklahoma's this week. So, they won. Colin Klein, John Hubert. Tyler Lockett in the house. Finally took one back. Kudos to you, mister. But, um, they did kind of... Arthur Brown's going to be up in the air. Don't know about everybody else. They gotta prep for Oklahoma this weekend, and you gotta wonder if there's some tricks in the bag. Um, the defense is in big trouble, though. I'm gonna go ahead and say this right now: Arthur Brown or not, they're gonna give up a lot more yardage to Oklahoma in Norman, and I think it might be just too much. Uh, they might not. They might. They may uh, give up the pass, but in the difference between the other teams they will definitely uh, get run by. Uh, they're, they're a little bit faster than, than Sooners. I don't feel good about this game. Um, an upset would be fantastic. Uh, Oklahoma rarely loses at home. <laughs> I'm just not feeling it. Big Game Bob has Bill Snyder's number. Um, man, let's hope it's a Big 12 championship game all over again. 2002, 2003? Whatever one I was at. Um... Yeah, it's going to be close. Um, but, hey, you know, they bumped up. They stood fast at 15th. Texas jumped them in the rankings. That's fine. Uh, they got the Texas bump. Hey, but they did hang 66 on Ole Miss. So, you know, the only SEC matchup of the year in Texas uh, took it to the running Rebels. Or is that the same name still? Or did they change it? I know they got rid of the Max Scott, which is a shame. But um, kudos to Texas for doing that. Uh, but what I game, the game that I watched, uh, and I had a delicious mean green pizza uh, during, was the TCU Kansas game. And uh, my takeaway from that little ditty is that um, that uh, the TCU Horn Frogs got a nice little wake up call to the Big Twelve. Uh, struggling a little bit, actually a lot, for a uh, team in Kansas and Lord. For them, that Brandon Carter guy in TCU is a hoss. He, he pretty much single-handedly helped TCU pull away toward the end. The other takeaway is, is that I thought Charlie Weiss would be bringing uh, offense and not defense, but, but it's the other way around. The uh, defense is, they're creating a lot of turnovers. You know, on one hand, that means the, the score could be a lot worse, but um, they're making plays, and I, I kind of see it trying, and you saw it Saturday against TCU. 
that the offense is kind of almost there. They still kind of make some dumb mistakes, and Dane Christ is not a great quarterback, but he was way better um, than the uh, the previous dude. Um, so, um, so uh, they're almost there. So, um, so that's what happened there. Um, Kansas' defense is a much improved. Um, and Kansas' offense is, like, almost there. I think you got to watch out for them later on this year. They're going to be much better later on this year. Um, that Rice game is kind of a fluke. I mean, it's a it's a virus that, that, that goes in the state of Kansas. Look at K-State. They struggled against uh, North Texas. Um, they struggled against um, Western Kentucky, whoever, Missouri State. Um, they uh, they hung it on Miami, but those were all at home. They're going on the road. Don't know. Not feeling good. So, um, other games that I watched, I didn't really watch that many other games. Um, the... You, Louisiana Monroe almost did another upset over Auburn, which was interesting. Uh, watched a little bit of Tennessee and Florida, but I didn't really care too much about it. A uh, bunch of snooze fest. Uh, West Virginia kept rolling. Baylor struggled, but I didn't watch that. Uh, Oklahoma State. Uh, apparently, Wes Lunt is injured, and nobody knew about it until about Friday. Um, so... They still hung over 60 points on small school tech, which, um, it's a good sign. Um, don't know how it's going to translate to actual competition, uh, the Big 12, but we'll, we'll see. Um, what else? I did, that's about it. I mean, Alabama, Arkansas was a joke. Arkansas is down the tubes. Uh, it's going thermonuclear down there in, in Arkansas. Um, so, that's it. Um, I did skip out, go see a concert, kept the old updates on the phones, um, and refreshed it accordingly. I missed out on the best games of the evening. Now, this weekend I will not, uh, because we have, well, in the evening, Notre Dame also took care of Michigan State. Big Ten sucks this year. Um, and you know what, it's getting back to Ohio State and Michigan State only. Or Ohio State and Michigan only. <laughs> Whoops. Um, and Michigan already had a loss under their belt. And that's about it. That you know, And that's the one thing about the Big Ten is that the return to glory is only when Michigan and Ohio State are the only ones doing well. Um, and, yeah, Michigan State lost. Notre Dame, hey, guess what? They're back in the top 15. Uh, they're going to keep things rolling. I think now that USC got upset, which is the other game uh, that I did not see, which was uh, the Cardinal uh, man pulling a pulling a Kansas State over Texas on USC and pretty much owning them again this year, um, and upset. There goes national title chances for uh, the Pac-12, pretty much. Uh, I mean, you still got Oregon at three and zero, but I don't think you see anybody else coming up. Maybe Stanford if they keep winning, uh, but, you know, just looking at the top ten, yeah, folks, Alabama, LSU, again, um, I believe in Alabama, I don't know if I believe in LSU, the way I saw Alabama play, that's a tough team, although they did just whip up on a team that lost to Louisiana Monroe, yeah, Louisiana Monroe almost beat an Auburn team, but that team was led by Gene Chizik. Yeah, he won a national championship, folks. No, Cam Newton won it. Anyway. So we're stuck with that for the rest of the year. Um, maybe one of those two guys will get dropped off. Uh, but you got to wonder about Texas. Um, they've got the hype. That they've got the USC, LSU, Alabama hype. Um, and they're going to ride that until they notch a loss. Which, if they play the way that they did Saturday night... You know, it might be December 1 that um, is the last chance for them to lose. And 
Talk about Big 12 being back. Big 12 is back only when Texas and Oklahoma are doing well. It's like, yeah, half of college football's hype. And, um, yeah, that's just the way it is. So, this weekend I mentioned that Kansas State is playing Oklahoma State. Um, what else? Night games-wise, it's a great lineup. Um, ESPN, ABC's got Florida State and Clemson, which is almost a top ten matchup. And then we have Notre Dame and Michigan as well. So we have Kansas State, Oklahoma, Notre Dame, Michigan, and uh, Florida State, Clemson. That's right, folks. One loss between six teams. Um, good stuff. All at the same time. All on broadcast television, by the way. Fox, NBC, and ABC. So for those of you who, like me, who have cut the cable and are no longer um, rocking the, uh, the super basic awesome cable package, you're going to be able to see three great games. So I'm getting stoked about that. News-wise, um, not much news. West Lunt was an interesting nugget. Um, the, uh, what else? That's about it. Oh, Bo Pelini was taken to the hospital. Uh, apparently he had the flu symptom. Uh, I think he just chewed his gum too hard. Maybe broke a jaw. Don't know. But, hey, he's feeling better. That's a good thing. Good for him. Um, and with that, um, I'm blowing up. People want to know about... Um, people want to know about who I'm picking this weekend for Kansas State, Oklahoma. Uh, you kind of heard it here first. So let me just um, kind of relax and com console myself. Yeah, I'm, I'm going with Oklahoma. It, it's just... It's too much. Um, so Sierra Mess, take me away. And, um, hey guys, if you got any questions, comments below. There's no subscribe button, so I'm just going to put it up here anyway. But hey, you guys, take it easy. Another week is in the books. Um, undefeateds are going down this weekend. I hope you guys enjoy it. Stay to KC College Game Day, and um, we'll have some fun together. Until then, see ya.